In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a hyper-realistic carved apple cake. I'm using a couple of real apples as reference to help me carve the cake and then to help me add the detail later. So this is a piece of Madeira cake and I'm just going to cut it down to a similar size to the apple. I'll start by cutting off all the corners to get a more rounded shape. And now I'll just trim away at the bottom to narrow that shape. And now just trim in all the way around to get a nice curved surface. As you can see I'm just trimming a tiny amount off just so that I don't distort the shape. I'll continue to carve around the base of the cake until it's slightly narrower than the real apple. I'm rounding off the top of the cake now. The shape needs to be exactly the same shape as the original apple, but slightly smaller to allow for the covering of sugar paste later. As this is just a small cake, I'm making just the one cut and filling with buttercream. I'm cutting a hole from the top of the cake and angling the knife slightly so as not to cut too deeply. And now I'll just trim around the outside to make sure those two slices of cake are nice and flush. I'll carefully cover the whole cake in ganache now. So the ganache I'm using is a nice firm consistency. I will add the link to my tutorial showing you how to make this ganache recipe at the end of this video. Once the cake is covered, I will use the palette knife to smooth out the ganache as much as possible and then place it in the fridge to set. Now that the ganache is set, I'm using a palette knife and dipping it into boiling water, I'm now smoothing the whole surface of the ganache. The smoother you can make the ganache, then the better it will look when it's covered in icing. I'm colouring the sugar paste the same colour as the green I can see in the apple. So to achieve this colour I'm using sugar flare colours in gooseberry, lemon and lime and a touch of melon. 
This sugar paste is quite soft, so I'm adding a little bit of Tylo powder to firm the paste up a little bit more. To prepare the cake ready for covering, I'm just using um, a little bit of previously boiled water and I'll coat the whole surface of the ganache. I'm rolling the sugar paste quite thinly, so I don't bulk out the shape of the apple too much. This is quite a difficult shape to cover, so I'm just going to take my time with it. Uh, teasing out the folds as much as I can, working my way down um, to the base of the apple. Now that I've covered it as much as I can, I'll lift the cake and continue to cover the bottom. I then need to smooth out all the imperfections using a silicone tool. I'll continue to do this and keep smoothing with my hands until the sugar paste is completely smooth. I'll reinforce the dip in the centre of the, the top of the apple by using a bull tool and just making sure it's nice and smooth and nice and curved. To make the stalk, I'm using flour paste. I'm using the smoother just to make sure it's nice and neat. And I pre-coloured it using the gooseberry food colouring. Using a cocktail stick, I'm just roughing up the top of it so it looks realistic. And then I'm brushing it with a mixture of nutkin brown and chocolate brown. I've lightened it with a bit of cream dust and I'm just adding that to the very top end of the stalk. I've made a paint using the gooseberry colouring and um, alcohol and I'm just brushing right into the centre. I'm going to show you how to create the colouring for both of these apples. So I'm starting with the lighter one. I've mixed a paint with poppy red food colouring mixed with clear alcohol. I'm using a strong alcohol rather than your regular vodka or gin. This will allow it to dry quicker. And all I'm doing is creating all the little fine lines and patches that I can see on the reference apple. Thank you. 
In places I'm just adding a deeper colour and now with a larger brush I'm just blocking in the colour at the base of the apple I will still allow some of the green to show through And now I'm adding in some deeper red and to create that colour I've added a tiny bit of Aztec blue into the poppy red. This is now complete. To create the darker apple, I'm now going to brush the whole apple with the um, deeper colour red, which I mixed with poppy red and Aztec blue. But I still want to see some of the lighter red and even some of the green showing through in places. To finish, I'm just going to insert the stalk and while the paint is still wet, I'm using the silicon tool just to remove some of the darker red. This will allow for tiny little um, pale spots to show on the surface which will create that hyper realistic finish. Once the paint is dry, I will spray it with edible glaze. I hope you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this and please feel free to leave your suggestions for future tutorials in the comments below.